I've put the mill table back together. There's no X lead screw on this thing that I know of, but it seems to be working rather nice. It's very tight. I put all new hardware on, new Gibbs screws, new uh, screws, flat screws in the bottom to hold the uh, table on, and I put three new Allen screws into the oil holes. There's one I have not gotten loose yet and that's still got the slotted one and we'll get that one over time. I put screws on the end to uh, keep dirt off of those threads. And I've got new toys. This is an Enco head. It's got a spindle protector. Came with dividing plates, the one that's on there, wrong way around, the one that's on there, and two more. Let's see. And we're working between centers. dog mechanism. I also have a adjustable tail stock came with it so that can be set up like that and for doing taller work there is a where are you there we go. For taller work, there's a riser. <clears throat> a backing plate for a chuck. And it came with a chuck that already has the threads that don't need the backing plate. It's a three jaw with the uh, external, no internal, internal jaws on it. I only got one set of jaws. I was kind of disappointed in that, but uh, such is life. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the hull in terms of the uh, dividing head. And uh, I thought about eventually making one and between making the lathe and working on the master mill and this and that, and this came up. It was only it was less than an hour, about a half hour drive away from here, and uh, I paid about full retail for it. But uh, hopefully, it's a decent quality. I don't know if it's Chinesium or not. I don't know when Enco switched over or how old this is or how to tell. But uh, I didn't get any worse. Didn't pay any more than new. And I did get the chuck and the riser, so I feel pretty good about that.